Hey everybody, welcome to another review. Um, tonight, I'm actually going to re-re, I think it's the third time I'm testing Panda Cloud Antivirus, and mainly this is because they came out with a new version. It's, I think, Beta 3. Um, I think it's point... doesn't even give you a product name or version. I think it's point zero nine zero zero. So it's uh, 21 megs. I gave it a download, and uh, I'm going to install it right now. So while this is installing, I am going to pause the video and I'll be right back. Okay, the install just finished and here's something interesting. You actually have to get a user account. Even though it's free, I've never been a fan of this and it really just it plainly sucks in my opinion. Um, this is just really dumb that I have to sign up for a user account to use your so-called free um, you know, antivirus, and they're saying this is because, of what I read, this is because for technical support. Well, if I want technical support, if I need it, let me sign up then. Don't force me to sign up before, but what can I do? I guess I gotta sign up right now. So I'll be back after I sign up. See you in a second. Okay, so I signed up. Uh, as you can see, they changed their user interface here. You got your settings here. Basic, you know, nothing major here. Scan statistics and if you push the button flips over to the uh, quarantine but that's about it so let's get started here and see what kind of damage we can do seems like my system's running a little bit slower uh, now of course this is on a virtual machine but I definitely see a slowdown here on uh, just the whole system you know, things opening up. So let's see what kind of usage we get out of this. Okay, I know this is one of its processes. And it's got one there, one there. So I see two small pro or one there, sorry. So there's one process there, and the main one right here, it's about uh, 17 megabytes. So we'll see uh, something you can see it's definitely running slower than it should be. That's probably mainly because of <laughs> me running Vista on a virtual machine. Not enough RAM, whatever. Looks like that went down a little, so that's good. forgot that one's dead. I'm trying to load up a dead one. Sitting here wasting time. I think that one's been blocked. That one got blocked, so that's good. something here from antivirus has been stopped definitely uh, okay so it took care of that one looks like that second one here made it through I know that ActiveX kills it. Okay, we got a Windows firewall and it's neutralized those. But we'll let the Windows firewall, we'll see what happens here. We'll let that go. Of course, Internet Explorer crashes just like usual. Let's give it.
giving me a restart computer as you saw it wants me to restart the computer so there's probably something in memory Okay, it looks like that one got blocked. Yep. And it looks like it might have blocked that one. Okay, this is just weird. The antivirus got stopped. Hmm. And the processor right now is probably going nuts. So let me pause the video while this is doing whatever it's doing. See you in a sec. Okay, it seems to have unlocked itself. We're going to keep going on here. program basically died so we'll do that it keeps wanting me to restart but I'll restart after I scan okay I got caught that one and this is an exploit that I think might be dead so what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart the computer and uh, I'll be back when it's done restarting. Okay, so Panda just finished scanning and it says it neutralized one uh, suspicious file. So that's good. And what I did is I went and downloaded Malwarebytes. I gave it an update. It's got the newest definitions on there, you'll see. So let's do a scan and see what Panda finds. The interesting thing here is when I restarted the computer you get this here and it says everything's great but you get the here it says the antivirus has been stopped oh, and see now it works fine once you put it back down there so it's just kinda weird so we'll let this run here and I'll be back when it's done see you in a second okay so Malwarebytes just finished scanning here and it says it found six things so let's check it out see where uh, what we got Okay, so we uh, cube faced it get through. So you can see we have two files there. Um, we have a Trojan here, a modified that there's another cube face, and two modified um, registry keys. So Panda didn't do bad, but it didn't do great either. As you can see, it did let some nasty things by, especially these cube face parts here. So um, I'd say I'd give it a good six to seven out of ten um, I would definitely wouldn't rely on it at this point in time as my sole security uh, then they still need to fix um, the issue of it running the system slow um, it keeps clearing out its own memory as you can see it was at 16 megs and then it dropped down and then it comes back and then it dropped down so that's kinda weird how it does that but definitely needs a little work on the memory problems as I can tell CPU time um, let's check that out real quick before I run out of so let's see here it definitely used more it, it used more CPU time than the system idle process that's not good in my opinion nowhere near good enough as it should be but that's mainly because I was scanning uh, so the scan took up some time alright guys See you later.